Hi, I'm Susie. I get a lot of great questions on how you can remove your gel polish without damaging the natural nail. This video is for the natural nail wearer. How would you like to remove your beautiful gel manicure without using any acetone? You can simply peel it off. Let me walk you through it. Let's get started. I'm a nail technician. I do nails day in and day out. So I don't have many friends or clients that have natural nails, but my daughter does have natural nails and they are absolutely beautiful and they're long and I would just love to get some acrylic on them. Hello, Carly. Hello. Welcome to my set for the very first time she's ever been in one of my videos. Yeah, I, the first time I've been in this chair, I've walked through this room many times. <laughs> But I used to live in this room, actually. It used to be but. her room. Coco and Claire is a product I've had on my table many times. I really like their gel polish. Actually, Coco and Claire is sponsoring this video, and they're actually here. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Cheryl and Debbie are the creators of Coco and Claire. Can I say how you got, got the name? Because it's pretty adorable. Sure. That's okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's their first names of their children, their girls, which I think is really cute. Coco and Claire, it, it was just drawn to the name. I thought it was adorable. So the first thing you want to do is you want to give um, a manicure. And now her nails are actually in really good shape. You don't really have any problems on them at all. I'm going to use this beautiful rose gold manicure tool. And I'm just gonna gently push back the cuticle. And the reason why we do this is because we want the natural nail plate to be completely clean so the product can hang on there. If you don't remove it, it's kind of bumpy and lumpy and it's not even and it can really interfere with the adhesion of the product. Okay, so I'm going to take a file and I'm going to just gently buff off the shine of the natural nail. You always want to do that because the oils can interfere with the adhesion of a product. So we're just going to gently buff that and make it nice and smooth near the cuticle so we can get a really smooth flow of the product going on top. Okay, so I've done this to the rest of them. And if you're gonna get a little bit particular, you can also, with a nice fine file, just make sure the free edge is nice and smooth for the application. These all look really pretty good. These are kind of a perfect length for them. Do your nails grow fast? Yeah. You cut them all the time? Um, well, so I play guitar. I teach guitar, actually. You know that. Uh, <laughs> you should know that. I do know that. <laughs> uh, I'm actually trimming them, probably not properly. Uh, no, they look fine. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Um, every week, if not every two weeks, they go oh, wow. fast. Oh, wow. Holy cow, do they ever. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay, so that is the first step. You just want to make sure they're nice and clean. So like if you're painting a wall, you want to sand it and then dust it off, get all the oils and dirt off of it. And that's exactly what we've done here with all of these nails. And now we're going to put on the first step. But you know, I will say, sometimes when you're working with a system that has steps, it can be a little confusing, especially if you're not a nail technician, if you're doing this yourself. But these guys are smart. These guys are smart. They have got these excellent, I, I like this one I'm working with. You can get all your gel product on top of here. Like sometimes you make a bit of a mess, but you can wipe it all off. I believe you can throw this in the, can you throw this in the wash? You, you shouldn't need to just use a little bit of polish remover oh, and you can remove whatever you get on it. That's fantastic. So this, look at this. It shows us all the steps. It even gives you a little quick diagram of all of the names of the nails. That's pretty cute. And then of course, along here, they have all the steps to show you how to go through it properly. I love that, you guys, that's brilliant. Makes it simple. Oh, it sure does, that's great. Maybe I should just keep it right under Cardi's hands oh, there, so. Cheat sheet. I can just, yes, a cheat sheet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the is. first step, and it does say right on there, it is clean, and that's what we're gonna use for the very first step. Okay, and we're just going to, just 
I've gently painted on top of the whole nail. Second step is prep. So prep is actually pretty cool. If you want to, do you like to change your nail color? Oh, you don't really nail. I never color. wear uh, nail polish, um, but I have a few times before. Um, but again, I play guitar, so it can chip pretty easily. Right, and that's nail polish. That's polish, and right. then gel polish stays a bit better. Yeah, yeah. So if you want this to have a longer wear, then you want to paint the whole entire nail. And this is an air drying product, but if you just want to change it out. Like you wear it for to, a night. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You want to be able to change it out. You don't want it to stick on too hard, but you want it to stay on for the duration. So just mm. put it on the edge of the nail. Because that's where it chips. Exactly. Mostly is the edge. That's right. That's where most of the breakage is. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to gently put it on the oh. very end. That's cool. It is cool. I, I didn't, I've been working with this product for a while. I didn't actually know that. Mm -hmm. It's cool. This is actually perfect for someone like me with natural nails where I don't wear polish very often. But if I'm going to a party or it's the holidays and I want yeah. I want some nice nails for like an evening or no, two, I think it's a then I can... Idea. Because I've removed gel polish before, and it's and how me. did you do that? <laughs> you're not supposed to tell you. You're my daughter. You're not supposed to remove it badly, but you did. It's didn't a, you? you told me how to do it. It yeah. was I had to wrap my um, oh, nails in foil, and w I guess acetone. Yeah. Is that mm -hmm. what I did? Yeah, and, and then wait it. for like a long okay. time, yeah. and then scrape it off. Yeah. And that's what we don't want you to do. So, yeah. So, and the, An the alternative part, to that would be really nice. The acetone part and the removing, that you did that right, but you just yeah. don't want to scrape it off. So why, I understand that. Do I scrape it because it didn't come off properly, basically? Yeah. I think, mm -hmm. yeah, you some of it came off, but bit. then it didn't. Yeah. I just so in it. that case, if you're doing that, you just leave it on a little bit longer and it will actually flake right off. It maybe just didn't uh, leave it on quite I'm just enough. not that's patient all. enough. Yeah. Where do I get that from? Uh, what? <laughs> My the, impatience. Oh, your patience? Oh, it's coming off now. From me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to let that dry. That's an air dry step. Hey, Susie. Yo. Just a little tidbit. Yeah. When you're applying that prep to the free edge of the nail, yeah. your wearability is up to about 10 days. Oh, that's really good on a natural nail. Yeah, on a natural nail. Yeah. That's fabulous. That's really good to know. Yeah. I'd be very curious to see, because um, again, that's the part that chips. So mm -hmm. you should have really that's good exactly right. wearability on that. Yeah. yeah. Now we're going to put on the base. I think the best tip for the base is actually two thin coats for the base. If you're really experienced, you could do one thicker coat, but you don't want to over flood that cuticle. So two thin coats, I think, is really a great tip. Coco and Claire, you guys like to cap the edge, don't you? Yes. Do you recommend that? Yes. The, okay. the edge of the nail has to be capped so that the product doesn't peel back on its own. We want to wait until we actually file it for it to, you. to break the seal. Yeah, that makes sense. So if you want a real smooth top coat on the application so there's no little bump at the end, paint the end first. The last time I think I polished your nails, you were 10. <laughs> yeah, I used to do um, the little fake French on me. Oh, right, okay. polish the white. Cute. And clear coat the rest. I like That's that. That's cute, yeah. yeah. Just a simple they did. You did that for my prom, too. I did nails oh, for prom. Oh, okay. That was probably the last time. Yeah, I've done so many nails, I can't remember. I knew I painted them, but I didn't remember the French part. Yeah, I did the French. That's classic. So. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so this is the little Coco and Claire lamp, and you just click the little side button, and it's already timed for. You don't have to count it out, but it needs to cure for about 45 seconds for this base coat. Okay, we're doing color now. So now I've got the two coats and they're both cured at 45 seconds each because the lamp is already time for that. And now we're going to do like, we're going to get a little jiggy. So these are the colors that she's picked and we're going to use one nail as the accent nail. An accent nail. Yeah.
Okay, now that the girls are here, the Coco and Claire girls are here. You can hear them, you can't see them, but I'm gonna ask them because they are here. Do I cap the edge with the color, you guys, or just was with the base coat, was that okay? With the color as well, yes. You do it with the color as well. So if you're gonna do the color, then you do need to, well, my best tip is paint the end first. So you don't have that bump. Exactly. Yeah. It's cute with the pinky. It is actually cute. This pinky doesn't get, you know, a lot of attention and now it's the featured nail. That's true. Okay, so I'm just gonna give this a nuke and it's 45 seconds for the color. I'm gonna do two coats. Yeah, I like two coats. Now, I'm gonna ask this question because we are gonna peel this off. That's the beauty of this product. But I will ask the experts because they are here. Should you do this coat a little bit thicker? The color coat's a little bit thicker so it does easier to peel off or do you really wanna do that? Or is it necessary? The color would really, the thickness of the color wouldn't have anything to do with how it peels off. It's all about the proper application of the base. Yeah, Which perfect. is why we're doing the two coats versus yeah. the one. Okay, good. It's kind of handy having you guys here. <laughs> <laughs> Just asking questions whenever I want. I should show um, everybody a picture of my dog, Ferris. <laughs> Can I show them a picture yeah. of Ferris? Yes, I'd love to see it. So this is like fresh off the presses. This is on our walk Mine's a better. few days ago. Mine's better. But it's like all October too. Look at those leaves. It's pretty cute. He's like in life. He can be very patient when I take photos of him. Look at mine. It's cute. Well, I took that photo. I know. It it's so cute. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do them all with a second coat. So I've got two coats of the color on and then I went back into the thumb as well. It's a beautiful color. I love it. What color is this? Um, let me see now. It is Mallory Loves Mustard 107. Mustard. It's a good mustard, though. It's pretty. How many colors do you guys have? Mm, I think we're 117 and counting. In nice. Case. That's great. It's really hard to get um, a nice yellow. A it wearable, is, oh, a wearable yellow. Yeah. This is, like, not too harsh, but it's not, like, faded too much. Yeah. It's really pretty. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to do the top coat now. Now, I didn't know this. The girls had brought me a matte top coat. Uh, usually I always go with shiny. We're going to do the mostly shiny, but we're going to do a matte on there as well. Okay, so I'm going to do the top coat shiny, but I'm going to start with the index finger because it's easier to work from your front finger and move over to the pinky because left to work from the right to the left, unless you're left-handed, you work from the left to the right because you don't want to get your arm in it. I find that a problem. So I am going to clear cap the edge as well. So I'm going to do that first before I paint over top, but we will, and if you can remind me, matte the pinky. Okay. Really like this color, so Ooh, I want to keep it. Look at it. It's matting up really good. Ooh. I, I shouldn't be surprised. I it's mean, like I a... it worked, but I didn't know it was going to. Wow. Is there a sticky layer I have to? There isn't, but if, wow. you, if you apply a little bit of clean and give it a wipe anyway, it goes even more matte. Really? Good. It looks velvety. Velvet. Okay, so now this is the fun part. This is what we've done all this for. We are going to use a file and we're gonna break the end of the seal here so we can leave it in the water and that's when we can peel it off. You gotta leave it in there for 10 minutes. So right now I'm just going to do just that on every single finger, even though they look so pretty, I don't wanna take them off, but. We're here to do that, so. <laughs> but you're putting them back on after <laughs> for me. Yes. I like them. We'll put them on. Yeah, they're pretty cute actually. Okay, so I'm gonna break the seal on the end. Cause remember we, you know, capped the end to make sure that it was gonna stay on there. So let's say you've worn these for a week or 10 days, right? Or even just for a couple nights. That's right, or, or a couple or nights. Or your event that you went to. You got it. And then we are going to just buff the surface of it. You want that water to get in there and soak in there so that these will lift off nicely. That's why you can wear them in a hot tub or while you're doing dishes. Oh, right. And they won't just float off and into the into the water. That's a very good point. You yeah. So don't break the seal before you go into the hot tub. Exactly. Right, okay. 
And just don't do dishes. I, I agree. <laughs> Great idea. Yeah. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The entire surface doesn't need to be... Oh, it doesn't? No. It's just a little, a light buff. Honestly, we've done it just even just breaking the seal. Just oh, breaking, really? Breaking oh, wow, well, that is yeah. pretty good to know. I was just getting down at every little corner there. Okay, good to know. Okay, now we're ready to soak. Okay. You just put it in? Just put it in oh. there. Right. Your thumb, too? Get your oh, thumb yeah, in there? Yeah. Thumb. So we just have to let this sit for 10 minutes, right, ladies? Yes. 10 minutes. Okay. Oh, it's hot water with a little bit of soap in there. Yeah, you don't need the soap. You don't need the soap. Yeah, that's, that's what you guys are saying. So but my hands wanted them. a bubble bath. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So that was that was on my docket. Nice. That was yeah. requested. <laughs> um, so how about after when you remove it and then you put them back on, you also do my toes. Oh, my goodness. Yellow. Okay. <laughs> it works beautifully on toes. Seriously. How long does it last on toes? Weeks. Five, six weeks. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Susie what? doesn't do toes. No. <laughs> That's well, your I guess limit. I do my daughter's toes. toes. She told me that. Yeah. Would you do my feet? Yeah. Feet in your face? She won't yeah. do mine. No. <laughs> oh, of course not. <laughs> that I would I dare you to see. find someone who would. <laughs> to pay them hard cash. Yes. This video is going all wrong. <laughs> okay. We're going to soak this for 10 minutes. And then we're going to peel it off. Okay. So now we can peel them off. Nice and warm little bath. You ready to come mm -hmm. out of your little bath there? No, I'm not, but I will. <laughs> okay, so now you just get a little edge. This little tool is perfect. Look at this, you guys. <gasps> Can you see that, Carmen? Wow. Look at that. Oh, good. This is fun. Oh, yeah. Satisfying, isn't it? It kind of is. <laughs> <laughs> Look wow. at that. It comes off in like one piece. Wow. Look at There's that. My, there was my nail. Yeah. Let's do another one. Wow. That's easy. Look at that. And it doesn't hurt at all? No. <laughs> Not doing any scraping, no peeling, no, 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 no poking, no pulling off layers of your natural It's almost nail. kind of reminds me of like a face mask but for my nail yeah. beds. Right. To tell the mask. It's beautiful. Wow. Just, it literally comes off effortlessly and oh leaves goodness. basically no residue whatsoever. Yeah. Will it come off like that with uh, on a, a fake nails too? Absolutely. It does. Yep, acrylic and gel. Awesome. So if you find it's a little hard to get off, it may be just in the air a little too long, it'll harden up a little bit. So then you just put it back in the water again. But you know, we've, we're third finger in now and it's still coming off really nicely. Ooh, we could do another color. Look at that. Wow. Oh, wow, that's, that's really perfect. cool. Okay. That is impressive. They look like little flower petals. Oh my goodness, they you do. You can upcycle them after. <laughs> Maybe you could keep them and just put them on again later. Because <laughs> also really one cool. of the reasons I don't really wear nails is because you know the, the upkeep and the aftermath of them. Yeah. You know? Well, this was easy. This was easy and yeah. So easy. Well, that is, I've never seen anything like that. That is pretty good going, girls. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. I love it. Okay, well. Yeah, that makes it really convenient. Yeah, it does. It's unbelievable. Well, thanks, Connie. Thanks for joining yeah. me for this video. You're a perfect model for this. And thank you, girls. Thank you to Coco and Claire for joining us for this video and walking it right through so we understand how to do it step by step, right to the beautiful, smooth end. I love them. We will include one more photo so you can see a close-up version of Cardi's beautiful nails after the peelies came off. And they still <laughs> look beautiful. <laughs>